what's going on youtube um just gonna do another little review while i'm out over here so this is gonna be the overall review of the lift kit uh as much as information i can give you guys um as you can see right there you see the red shocks in the back going on try to give you guys some little insight in here you can kind of look and see what we got going on inside here as much as possible so you can see if anything looks different down there but uh yeah um i'm loving the way the truck looks overall with this lift kit um, i'm gonna try to see if i can bring you guys in here because i know down underneath there, there you go that's what i'm talking about you can see the trd um i'm pretty sure it says what does it say it's bilstein you see that up in there um i've heard that people think there are certain kind of bilsteins but they're trd um um tune bilsteins so i've heard of, they could possibly be like 5100s or something like that maybe don't quote me on that i am not a professional but um yeah that's the setup underneath there um try to get it down in here for you guys so you guys can just kind of see down in there um i also i also want to see because i really can't see everything so pull you guys out um just went and took and had the car detailed they washed it for me um uh, there's that grill so bring you guys into that toyota grill um it's all blacked out and you can see my camera right here and then you got this the sensor thing the garnish the sensor garnish down there looks pretty snazzy i use the word from my guys channel with that blue thing with that blue taco but uh yeah that's the lift kit that's the trd pro wheels and i believe these are like trd pro wheels from uh 2017 to 2018 i'm not quite sure but i like these i'm definitely thinking about going to um 17s though um just because with the lift 17s and probably go with a little bit bigger tires because it looks like um I got a lot of room you know there's plenty of uh clearance it looks like in here to get some bigger wheels and tires so that's probably what we're gonna do on that note um yeah so it's just the overall walk around of the vehicle i'm planning on this is the last time you're gonna see the gladstone license thing back there and put my trd license plate holder back there and there's that black exhaust tip um yeah i went and got the car washed and it did an all right job you know um but yeah i'm thinking um the chrome's definitely got to go we got to black that out i was thinking how it would look without um the tacoma what do you guys think has anybody debadged their tacoma sign off their truck i mean everybody if you see this truck you know it's a tacoma i don't think you really need to see that but i do like it when it's blacked out so so it's kind of like a little TRD. I'm going with the little TRD theme with this truck, obviously, with the black and the red. You know, so, oh yeah. Can't forget about this guy down there, that TRD skid plate. Um, to me, that's a must have, unless you got just like some type of aftermarket stuff going on, you know, um, like where you've done other stuff underneath here. Maybe you've changed the front bumper out and you got a different setup and i've even seen when people have a different setup they still put that trd plate on there they're still able to incorporate that in there uh, no license plate on the front so that's that yeah we're just chilling over here i came over here to the cemetery to check out my buddy real quick but i figured since it was quiet until we had another green tacoma just leaving actually that was kind of cool. 
but yeah this is it um this is my 22 trd off-road um yeah i really didn't want to drive the truck until you know it looked like this here's my tacoma mat on the inside i want to get some lights back here how do you guys feel about the bed covers you guys uh you guys got a bed cover i kind of like the open look but i do worry about my bed mat getting stolen um what do you guys think about that have you guys ever had like anything like like a bed mat stolen out of your vehicle kind of worried about that i don't know i don't think i would still like if i was a thief i don't think i would be stealing people's bed mats i mean i don't know you never know but just kind of giving you guys a walk around and if you guys haven't seen the inside of the truck so we cleaned the outside today um i mean it's kind of dirty right now i'm gonna go home before it gets too bad and vacuum it out and wipe off these mats and stuff but uh yeah i should probably get a screen protector for that um yeah so up here up top we got crawl control and you can um, also select what kind of road you're driving on for your traction up there and the rear locker we got the sunroof of course we got leather seats um so there's that trd license plate you got some more mask over there yeah we're still i'm still wearing a mask um for my other job because i drive for a living um but yeah that's the inside unlock this for you guys to see the back so nothing really going on back here but the back back window yeah i'm happy with the truck but it's just funny you know you start doing this stuff to your truck and it's like it's a lot of little things that i still need to do like i was just talking about the little i'll probably black out i know i will because i can't stand it i'll black out that v6 um yeah so i think what's up next for me would probably be um definitely the trd shift knob let's finish that off on the inside get those blacked outs but i think my my next big mod is going to be an exhaust um so i'm probably going to be hitting up an exhaust shop here pretty soon so exhaust coming soon thought about going with the trd but you know who knows you guys you know me I might end up with the TRD exhaust, but I think I might just go to my local muffler shop. I know they do a good job at a shop that we have here in town. So get a nice, good custom one. But yeah, we just out here chilling. Um, had a good St. Patrick's Day yesterday. Only had one beer and I hadn't drank in a while. And it was a Mickey's and yeah, man, um, just one 24 ounce beer had me like, whoa. So I'm like, yeah, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a lightweight when it comes to beers, but uh, had some weird dreams, that's for sure. But anyway, um, hopefully you guys had a safe and had a good uh, St. Patrick's Day. But um, yeah, if you guys got any questions about this truck, um, let me know. And there's the sensors that I was talking about, those Toyota safety sensors back there. There's your little tow hookup. We got our outlets for the tow hookup stuff right there. A couple different options, I believe, in there. Um, and the wheels, you know, I got the Duratrax dirt tracks right here wranglers um pick those up over there at uh discount tires i got a really good deal on these bad boys i paid like around 800 bucks for the tires and like i said i paid close to like 900 something with the with the i believe with the tire with the uh, wheels you know so i paid like 205 each um so yeah you know it's a pretty sweet rig so i got the led lights right there kind of just do some little detail work for you guys i'm not going to make this video too long i'm going to probably cut it short around 10 minutes so led fog lights down there um yeah i really like the way the lights look and then it's kind of just give you one more shot of that grill kind of go back for you guys a little bit But yeah, that's it. Um, I'm happy with the lift kit, how it feels. It's definitely higher. So that's one thing I noticed. You notice I don't have any uh, uh, side boards or running boards, whatever you want to call them. No rock sliders or anything like that. Um, I was definitely thinking about going with Predators, but you know, um, I just don't think that I'm going to do go that route with the Predator stuff. Like I said, a lot of this, this build has been OEM. 
you know, are just um, Toyota aftermarket parts, all official Toyota aftermarket. So as I'm going by here, I forgot the lights. That's another one. That's another upgrade coming. I mean, I think they're cool, but they have a lot cooler aftermarket lights. So I'm going to be doing replacing those, Lord willing. Everything is always Lord willing because you just never know what could happen. So if that's in his plans for me, we'll definitely do it. But uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and end this video, you guys. Um, I'm enjoying the truck, enjoying the lift kit. Um, here's that paint protection. Hopefully I'm getting my money's worth right here. You can kind of, this is where, uh, for the fenders, partial fender goes and then the full hood. Yeah. Good looking truck. Definitely happy with it. And, uh, I'll let you guys go. Um, that's just a full review. You know, if you guys have any more questions about this lift kit, um, let me know. Um, so basically, uh, there's a place out here in, uh, in Albany. You can get it for like 2,200. I think I got them. No, actually not 22. I think I got them to about 2,000, 2,040 bucks for the lift kit. And that was at a place in, uh, in Albany, but where I got it at, they charge about 2,400 bucks. And you know, that's always, you can always probably, they probably can get you some wiggle room. And that was at Gladstone. So about 2,400 bucks at Gladstone if you're in the Portland area, but I just really wanted that grill. So, um, yeah, let me know what you guys think. You guys have a great day. Uh, I got a couple more videos I'll probably post, but, uh, yep. Time to get back to work and uh, make some money so we could buy some more stuff for this truck. All right, you guys, we out like last year. And, uh, thank you guys also for people that are new to the channel. Um, thank you for checking out my channel, hit that like and hit the subscribe button. If you want to see more, um, truck content, and I think I'm just going to keep this. Um, I know I posted a few uh, guns and stuff on this channel, but I'm probably just going to keep this channel all truck stuff and then have another channel for guns and uh, some of my, um, you know, political views on guns and just, you know, the state of uh, where things are at right now in this country and in the world, because, you know, who doesn't have an opinion, right? But uh, yeah, you guys uh, have a great weekend. Be safe. And uh, again, thank you for checking out the channel. I definitely appreciate you guys. Have a great day. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.